So this is uh, part two of your overview for the whole of 2010. Uh, welcome back, Leo. So although early Leos are going to be feeling uh, the influence of Jupiter first, all of you are going to be, be benefiting uh, from Jupiter's protective and expansive influence. Um, it'll bring opportunities for your mind to grow um, and expand into new areas. Uh, maybe you're getting into a new project, a new field, uh, which is unfamiliar to you, which is uh, exactly what Jupiter wants you to do and uh, going to make it easy, you're going to give a lot of flow in, in that area there and I think you will learn a huge amount. You'll be on a learning curve and a growth spurt and also you could be broadening your horizons in other ways, um, maybe connecting more um, with your spirituality, um, um, whatever it is for you. So you should be working hard on whatever you think will bring you success uh, in those areas and between those dates. That's June the 6th to September the 8th. So that's just the kind of the beginning of it there, you know, it'll it'll sort of start to gather momentum from that from there I would think. In particular June the 8th looks optimistic and lucky even and a light could switch on in your mind. Very 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 uh, expansive uh, time there. Also September the 19th definitely a positive leap forward is very likely on or just to either side of those dates the degree of which will be dependent on your personal natal chart. Jupiter working from Pisces uh, January the 18th to June the 6th and again from September the 9th till the end of the year. Uh, well during that period you'll grow best through um, shared resources, uh, um, resources uh, through a partner or, or, sh or that you um, that you receive from maybe an external agency in some way and also emotional support from others. Uh, and you could be involved in a joint venture which brings success and f fulfillment uh, to both sides. So you'll feel uh, liberated, I think, as you shuffle off the heavy restrictions of the past because that is very much a gear change time for you. Um, and so by the end of that transit, um, I think you're going to be uh, feeling um, a lot more outgoing and a lot more confident. When Saturn retrogrades into Virgo uh, to oppose Uranus from April the 22nd to the beginning of July, you'll probably be working harder getting to grips with the demands of the material world. Um, and then when Saturn moves definitively into Libra on July the 22nd, you will begin a new cycle of developing your mental skills and honing your people skills. And uh, Jupiter Uranus begins a cycle of expansion and personal professional growth from June the 6th. The second eclipse on July the 11th, that's going to herald a time of new beginnings spanning the next six months uh, from there. Excellent time for developing things behind the scenes, growing something, nurturing something, inner work, meditation or more spiritual or healing activities, self-nurturing activities. Also it bodes very well for imaginative and artistic activities. Now Pluto has gone into Capricorn um, for and will be there for around about 14 more years. Um, this means regeneration from deep levels and letting go of old scenarios which could relate to your health and well-being. Um, you know, the shifting of old patterns there, uh, big time, depending on where you are in the sign, of course, you may feel an urge to get in more control in this area. Um, so um, you need to be quite flexible in the way you're looking at things. This is the energy of rebirth and may also uh, affect your employment situation or daily routines. Um, you know, you find yourself ha just having to do things in a different way to bring about the results you want, you know, to be in the driving seat, to have your hands on the wheel. You have to be flexible and you have to change things um, in your daily routines. There could be some tension around this, um, 
because you may feel another is trying to control or you may feel under somebody else something else's control some you know something else that you feel uh, is 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 manipulative or controlling um, uh, but you may want to transform your existing situation so that it mirrors more closely the you within and what you'd like to achieve through your work or um, you know in improving your health situation an old order is crumbling and the decks are clearing in preparation for a new dawn in those areas. The brief entrance of Uranus into Aries from May the 22nd to August the 14th could bring sudden opportunities to learn something new and broaden your horizons physically and mentally. Very expansive time there. With Neptune continuing to make its influence felt uh, in uh, the area of important partnerships, personal or business, uh, there may still be lingering doubts or signals getting crossed on both sides. This has been around for a number of years now, where there's been this uncertainty uh, with regard to another or some others, or maybe they haven't been there, and maybe you've been you know, on the lookout. Um, maybe it's been that that partner has been leaning on you and you felt a responsibility there um, however however it's been um, so uh, take time now to make sure things are clear between you and a partner or somebody that you have to collaborate with closely for whatever the reason is um, and avoid giving away your power to them uh, and that you're both seeing each other as you really are with no frills attached uh, now is the time to balance your high hopes in life with the reality of what's doable in this department um, until next year when Neptune moves out of there um, and goes into the next sign. Well that's it, that's the end of part two of your overview for 2010 and I hope you have a good one. So Happy New Year.